All right, we're back in 52 minutes after. In April, the Financial Accounting Standards Board took a step backward in the minds of those who really support more bank regulation. The FASB agreed to allow banks to avoid mark-to-market -market accounting in order to boost earnings. But a new plan may bring back the use of fair market values, and it could have a huge impact on the financial sector. Joining us right now with the details of what could be a major shift in accounting is Bloomberg columnist Jonathan Wild. Jonathan, this would be a huge, huge shift. It would be. And it, it's funny, you mentioned what they did a few months ago. Right. This is actually not all that in, inconsistent with that. What they did in that instance was they told these banks, okay, you've had these underwater toxic mortgage-backed securities, debt securities. They've been in a lost position for a couple of years, and you're afraid that you're going to have to run through your earnings. You've always been running through your, through your balance sheet. Right. Now we're going to give you a free pass. You don't have to run them through your earnings anymore. All you have to do is basically you know, say these three magic words, and it's done. So this, what they're doing now, is not actually inconsistent with that, but they're going so much further as far as market Market, requiring mark to market on the balance sheet for things. You mean that a have, lot of items, yeah. right? And not only that, all those losses that they that uh, the banks were able to avoid, they go off into this basket off the income statement. Right. They're going to take that basket and put it on the income statement now. They won't call it net income, so there'll still be a little bit of PR spin candy for the banks, but they'll have to show it. It'll on the, show up, yeah, right? Yeah. And then at the same time, this is all very tentative. I mean. The, Where did this come from? Like, it feels like it's coming out of left field. Well, the, they've got this other board over in London called the International Accounting Standards Board. They've got the FASB in the U.S., mm. and they both have had projects for some time to try to address all the problems with accounting for financial instruments. Right. And this is part of that broader, broader pod project. All right. Let's assume yeah. that they're able to make these changes. I mean, right. how, what kind of an impact would it be on some of these financial companies' accounts? I'm assuming huge. Jeff. Well, last week I wrote and I was on with you about CIT. Right. Remember, their loans were eight billion dollars. Were worth eight. Billion dollars less than what the balance sheet said. Well, they probably would have ended up being on the brink of Chapter 11 a long time ago. We would have known about it sooner, yeah, right? We'd have known about it sooner. And maybe if they had been managing their books on a fair value basis, they wouldn't have gotten this mess in the first place. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't have kept on doubling down on lots of terrible businesses. You know, I, this seems like such a turn for, for the FASB. I mean, how likely is it they're going to be able to make these changes or will make these changes? We are talking about accountants. <laughs> so we are talking about saying? accountants who spend a lot of their days getting <laughs> pummeled on the phone and in emails by bank lobbyists. Right. So we have no idea. And we saw what happened in March when Congress got involved. They pulled poor Bob Hers, the chairman of the FASB, into their committee. And they just beat him to death and said, you've got to do this and you've got to do right, that. Right. And he said, okay. But now they look like they're actually getting some inspiration to turn around and you know, come back and fight a little bit right. so that it's the accountants who are writing accounting standards instead of having a bunch of know-nothing congressmen to tell them how to do it. I mean, it sounds like it would go a long way in terms of greater transparency here. Yeah, it would. Uh, ab absolutely. Yeah. All right. We'll see what happens, right? Thanks. It's got a long way to go, perhaps? Uh, yeah, I, I don't see a proposal on this uh, being ready uh, to take effect before at least a couple of years, probably. Oh, a couple of years. All right. So, but we could, see, we could see a draft this year. Who knows? Okay. Well, we'll certainly keep yeah. an eye on it. Jonathan, thank you as always. Thanks. And just a reminder that the opinions Jonathan expressed right here are his own.